conceptual graphs are a formalism for knowledge representation. In the first published paper on CGs, John F. Soa used them to represent the conceptual schemas used in database systems. The first book on CGs applied them to a wide range of topics in artificial intelligence, computer science, and cognitive science. Since 1984, the model has been developed along three main directions. A graphical interface for first-order logic. In this approach, a formula in first-order logic is represented by a labeled graph. A linear notation, called the conceptual graph interchange format, has been standardized in the ISO standard for common logic. The diagram on the right is an example of the display form for a conceptual graph. Each box is called a concept node, and each oval is called a relation node. In CGIF, this CG would be represented by the following statement. Cat LC, sitting asterisk X, mat asterisk Y, in CGIF brackets enclose the information inside the concept nodes and parentheses enclose the information inside the relation nodes. The letters X and Y, which are called co-reference labels, show how the concept and relation nodes are connected. In the common logic interchange format, those letters are mapped to variables, as in the following statement. As this example shows, the asterisks on the co-reference labels asterisk X and asterisk Y and CGIF map to existentially quantified variables in cliff, and the question marks on X and Y map to bound variables in cliff, a universal quantifier represented at every asterisk Z in CGIF would be represented for a link cliff. Reasoning can be done by translating graphs into logical formulas, then applying a logical inference engine. Diagrammatic calculus of logics. Another research branch continues the work on existential graphs of Charles Sanders Peirce, which were one of the origins of conceptual graphs as proposed by SOA. In this approach, developed in particular by Doe, conceptual graphs are conceptual diagrams rather than graphs in the sense of graph theory, and reasoning operations are performed by operations on these diagrams, graph-based knowledge representation and reasoning model. Key features of GBK are the graph-based knowledge representation and reasoning model developed by Chen and Mugnia and the Montpellier group, can be summarized as follows. All kinds of knowledge are labeled graphs, which provide an intuitive and easily understandable means to represent knowledge. Reasoning mechanisms are based on graph notions, basically the classical notion of graph homomorphism. This allows, in particular, to link basic reasoning problems to other fundamental problems in computer science. The formalism is logically founded, i.e., it has a semantics in first-order logic and the inference mechanisms are sound and complete with respect to deduction in first-order logic. From a computational viewpoint, the graph homomorphism notion was recognized in the 90s as a central notion, and complexity results and efficient algorithms have been obtained in several domains. COGITANT and COGUI are tools that implement the GBKR model. COGITANT is a library of C++ classes that implement most of the GBKR notions and reasoning mechanisms. COGUI is a graphical user interface dedicated to the construction of a GBKR knowledge base. Sentence generalization and generalization diagrams. Sentence generalization and generalization diagrams can be defined as a special sort of conceptual graphs which can be constructed automatically from syntactic past trees and support semantic classification task. Similarity measure between syntactic past trees can be done as a generalization operation on the lists of subtrees of these trees. The diagrams are representation of mapping between the syntax generalization level and semantics generalization level. Generalization diagrams are intended to be more accurate semantic representation than conventional conceptual graphs for individual sentences because only syntactic commonalities are represented at semantic level.